Okay, we're going to model a pickaxe. Okay, so shift A, cylinder. I'm going to press S to scale that down, move my mouse inwards, point like there. Scale tool, scale that up. Probably about there. I'm going to scale it inwards a bit. Don't like that. So with the cylinder selected, press tab, go into edit mode, go to face select, set this bottom face here. Press E and bring it down a bit. That and then press S, scale it outwards a little bit. I'm going to press Control R to get this loop cut in. I'm going to use my middle mouse wheel by scrolling upwards to add more loop cuts. Like that, left click, right click. Go to face select. Turn on proportional editing. So when you press S, you'll get this area of effect. So you can use your middle mouse wheel to make that bigger or smaller. So I'm going to press S to scale this. I'm going to bring it out a little bit. Turn that off. Press tab to get out of edit mode. Shift A, get a cube, bring that up a bit. Okay, so we want to scale this down a bit. Bring it down. I'm gonna go to scale. So you want to bring that in a little bit, scale it, scaling it inwards. Press tab to get into edit mode. So press control R to add a loop cut. Hovering over this edge here. Mid and mouse wheel upwards to get another loop cut. Left click, right click, go to scale with them selected, and just scale them apart like that. Face select, select this face, select this face, and then scale that out a bit. Scale that down a bit more in object mode. So in in edit mode, press Control R at a loop cut in, bring it down a bit, probably about here. Press Control R, left click, right click, to get this line down the middle. So you want to turn on X-ray mode up here, face select, and then press C to get circle select. Use your middle mouse wheel to affect its radius. And I'm just going to left. I'm going to hold left click and drag over this entire right side, and then hit delete, delete faces, turn that off. So now we have half a mesh. Press tab to go into object mode. Go over to this little um, tool here, add a modifier, and we want to add a mirror modifier. Okay, so here it's my half of the object here, and I want my other half of the object to be over here. So as you can see, that's on this green line here, which is the Y axis, Y axis up here. So I'm going to select Y and remove X. So now it's being mirrored on the Y axis. So whatever you do on this side will be mirrored to this side and uh, enable clipping. So press tab, press E, drag that out a bit. So you can see it being mirrored on that side. Double tap A to deselect all that. And uh, press Control R, halfway over this edge here. You should mid mouse wheel to add a few loop cuts in. Left click, right click. Go to face select, set the space. Turn on proportional editing. Press S to scale this down. Like that, and then bring that down. Rotate that. So in this kind of arching kind of shape. Turn push light sync off at the top. And uh, select this face here and press S to scale that down to a, uh, a sharper point. I'm going to select this cube here and I'm just going to move that out a bit. So go to edge select up here. I'm going to hold alt and left click this edge here because it's making, um, you know, it's not very smooth. So I'm going to press control X and that will remove that face there, that uh, edge. Okay, so with proportional editing turned on, I'm gonna press Alt, left click this here. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more straight. Kinda like that. Press Tab to get into object mode. Select this uh, wood here, it's looking a bit small. So I'm gonna scale this up like that, and I'm gonna bring it down, just so there's a little bit sticking out of the top. So with this selected, hit this and hit apply. So that should make all this one object now. Uh, so in object mode, add modifier, add a bevel modifier. So left click the metal bit, right click and uh, shade auto smooth. 
Go into edit mode. Go to face select. And hold shift and select these up here. Go to proportional editing, turn that on. And uh, go get the scale tool. Let's scale that in a bit. I'm gonna do the same for down here. Scale that down a bit. Like that. Left click that, right click, shade, shade auto smooth. So that's looking pretty good. Left click this and uh, go to material, new material, base color, between yellow and red, bring that down to make it brown. Select this one, new material, base color, bring this down to a gray color, turn metallic up a bit, go to material mode up here. And there is your pickaxe. I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, thanks for watching.